Well, it's time for our interesting stories chat with Richard Southern. And Richard McDonald's is testing out a new sandwich. Do you think it'll be a big hit? <laughs> it's, the, it's a variation on the Big Mac, Erica. I'll uh, wait to get your take on as to whether or not this would bring you into Mickey D's. But uh, here it is. It's the chicken Big Mac being uh, brought to Canada. They've had this in several other global markets. It's essentially your classic Big Mac, except the beef patties are replaced with two chicken ones. The special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles on a sesame seed bun do remain. And uh, McDonald's said they've actually been working on, on this for two years uh, because they got to make sure they can fit it all into their 1,400 restaurants. Um, what do you think, Erica? Uh, yeah, I, I was wondering why it took them two years to replace <laughs> a beef patty with a chicken one, but I understand the logistics of it, I guess. I want more, you know, like they're just rearranging items on the existing menu at this point. Give me something new. That feels like a secret menu option. I'm sure some people must have asked for that at some point, and then maybe they thought it was so popular they might as well just make it a whole thing, right? I may or may not have put a chicken nugget in a Big Mac at some point, but that's a story for another day. <laughs> You're joining day. a lot of people. <laughs> okay, speaking of chicken, the Guinness Book of World Records is making one Michigan chicken famous for all the right reasons. I'll introduce you to her, Erica. It's Peanut is her name, and this is the oldest chicken in the world, Aww. according to Guinness World Records. Look at that. Cranky, chicken. probably probably really cranky. Probably so. Yeah. 20 years old, Erica Peanut is, uh, described as a doddering old lady, but still answers to her name and loves to be cuddled. Peanut has several grandchildren and great-grandchildren living in her coop. Uh, hopefully, she doesn't end up in any uh, chicken sandwiches. No. <laughs> Don't bother, Peanut. She'll, she'll poke your eyes out, I'm sure. Exactly. Even try and get near her. Tough finally, old <laughs> Finally, this trend of coming up with very unique ice flavors is really starting to give me the creepy crawlies. New ice cream, Erica, in a uh, ice cream parlor over in Europe, and it's cricket ice cream. People are eating more bugs these days, and apparently that's a good thing. They're more sustainable. There oh, it is. There's and the it's chip. garnished with a cricket. How nice. You'd take a bite of that, wouldn't you? No. <laughs> No. It's um, cricket flour, heavy cream, vanilla extract, honey, and topped with uh, dry crickets. Uh, they, are, they describe it as surprisingly tasty. Apparently, many people strolling into this uh, parlor have been trying the cricket ice cream. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll stick to the Tim Hortons double-double ice cream I was talking yeah. about earlier. I should mention, if our viewers missed it earlier, uh, it is your birthday today, Richard, so I, I want to wish you a happy birthday. I wish I could give you some uh, cricket ice cream, <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, I'm out, but maybe next time. Uh, thanks, Eric. You're very kind of there, you. It's, oh, it look at this. There I am wearing my hat. <laughs> it's always a party being with you here at 640. Always and, festive. Uh, really appreciate it. So thank you, Eric. All right. Party on, Richard. <laughs> party on, Garth. Party on, Erica. <laughs>